Hey YouTube, Smoking Medic here. Got a little treat for you guys, a little how-to video um, for you all today. I'm getting ready to make chive vinegar. What is chive vinegar? Well, it's uh, late May right now, so um, this time of year, actually earlier, if you have chives growing in your garden, which are really easy to grow, um, I plan my first ones four some four summers ago I believe and uh, they've held up to every Illinois winter since then and they come back with vengeance every year so really easy to grow um, you don't need much um, much space to put them just uh, you know any little spot you can um, better if you put them in the ground that way like I said you can enjoy them every year they come back um, so you can put them right up against your house or whatever but um, around this time of year they start to bloom these really beautiful purple blossoms on top and they smell like in this case these are onion chives they also have garlic chives so obviously onion chives have more of an oniony um, taste um, smell to them and garlic obviously more of a garlicky flavor but um, something you can do with these I know you can fr um, I believe they're just edible straight I think people like some kind of like um, dredge them in flour and fry them or whatnot. But um, something me and my wife learned last year when we took a trip to the Chicago uh, Botanical Gardens was to make chive vinegar with it. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Um, so what you do is, really simple process, um, to make the first, to make the batch, um, I just get some of the big baller mason jars. Um, that we have sitting around for pickling, canning, and whatnot, making jams and jellies. Um, and it's real simple. First off, I'm going to, I just literally picked these, got a whole um, colander full of them. Uh, I'm going to give them a quick rinse in the sink with cold water. Um, I'm sure there's some bugs in them. It's not necessarily because I'm afraid of the bugs. Obviously, the vinegar will take care of them. I uh, just want to make sure in case any um, animals outside peed on them or anything like that um, isn't going to be an issue or any chemicals because we have had our yard sprayed this year, but um, they were supposed to stay away from um, any edibles. But just in case, so give them a quick, good rinse. Give them a shake. I'll tell you what, this just makes really tasty vinegar um, you can make really good salad dressings with uh, make all kinds of um, cold salads in the summers summer with um, so you just take them and put them in the ball in the the ball mason jars and I'm gonna put about that many in that one see that that might be a little bit too much and then you just go get yourself some regular white distilled vinegar. Um, it's vinegar, white vinegar is so cheap, you're better off just going to the store and buying these big gallon sized containers um, and just keeping around for all kinds of stuff. Um, you can use it for cooking purposes, but also cleaning purposes as well. It's good to pour down the sink. So. Just pour that to the very top, put your lid on, and then you stick this in the refrigerator. And obviously the longer you let it set, the heavier of a flavor you'll get from the flowers. So I believe last year we let these set um, probably at least two weeks. And then we would take it out maybe a few times um, during those two weeks, taste it, see what we thought. And finally, like I said, about two weeks later, we thought it had a heavy enough flavor. And then uh, you take it out. And you just strain it um, however you want to. If you want to keep it in these big containers, that's fine. Uh, what we did is we went, we put most of it in um, some smaller um, jars too. So just refrigerate this. And then you can actually watch, actually today, you'll probably start seeing the color um, drift down. Until eventually, like I said, you'll have this really pretty pink, um, almost lavender, violet type flavor. Uh, sorry, color. And I don't know. 
We were told to keep this in the refrigerator, but it is vinegar, and it's not like you have the actual flowers, blossoms in there. So I don't think there'd be an issue keeping this outside the refrigerator. Uh, we didn't have enough to um, that we had to worry about it, but um, I would maybe keep it in the, the refrigerator, maybe keep one out and see how it see how it lasts again. I don't imagine it being a problem. Um, if anything, maybe you can actually can them um, to have them sealed and sanitized properly. But anyway, this is Smoky Medic. Just giving you guys a quick little um, how-to tip with to do with uh, your chives. If, you, if you're growing chives this year, uh, if you're wondering what to do with those uh, beautiful little blossoms on top of your chives, make yourself some chive vinegar and then uh, go make yourself some uh, nice healthy dressings. All right, guys, Smoky Medic here. If you guys got any questions about making this again, just ask in the comments section. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.